Hello and welcome once again to MG Tracy. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and you'll be able to see all my videos as they come out. So today we are going to do a simple guide to the first time you use an espresso machine. This is particularly good if, like me, you are moving from coffee machines or the pod-based or tea discs based and you don't want too much faff. So many of the simple beginner's guides on YouTube actually just feel like a tutorial for someone who's going to work at Starbucks. It doesn't actually need to be that complicated. So here's a quick guide to making your first simple cappuccino using this machine. A couple of bits of housekeeping. Make sure that you use fresh coffee. Again, to make it easy, don't try and grind your own in the beginning. Buy the brand you like or the coffee you like from uh, the store. Once this is opened, you've got to use it really within a week and keep it in the fridge and try and keep it as airtight as possible. Um, if you're going to put some flavours in, then something like this is great. I tend to make sure that they don't have any artificial anything in it. And this just a few drops of this in the bottom of your glass before you start, if you want a flavour. Right, here we go with a quick guide. Right, we're going to turn the machine on and just make sure you push here to run some water through this first of all. If this is a second hand machine or you've not used it for a while, you will need to clean underneath there. It should seem nice and clean like this. If yours doesn't, then yep, run it a bit, let it cool down and clean it with a microfiber cloth. When you're changing these over, you will find there's a little notch there and there's a hole there, look, and that will just drop in happily there and then just spin that around a little bit. And then when you're upside down, it's not gonna fall out. There is this extra bit here. So now you to hold it when you're tapping out the grinds, but you don't really need it because it's, it's not gonna come out really. Now, most machines don't tell you this, but you need to leave it on for about 10 minutes to warm everything up, all the bits of the equipment included under there need to be warm otherwise you might make a great coffee and it will just get cooled by various bits of metal it touches on the way through so leave it on for 10 or 15 minutes uh, you will see this build up here um, you can't leave it plugged in like that uh, indefinitely but just for 10 minutes before you're going to use it to warm everything up inside and out let's just put our coffee in here you probably need to be just above the surface. Just give that a little tap down. So your final machine came with sort of a tap or something to uh, tap that down with and get that a little bit compressed and smooth. So you need to use medium force just to tap that down, make it as even as you can and it needs to be below the max level. It's now ready to insert into the machine. Now many of the videos and many a coffee shop, there's a lot of theatre here, but this is a lot of this is really just to convince you that you should be paying five or six dollars for a coffee that actually costs about 20 cents. One of the advantages of having an espresso machine compared to a pod machine is you are in control of the milk. So if you like oat milk or semi-skim milk like I do, you can have whatever fresh milk you want. The machine has been on a while, but we're now going to push the steam button and this will take the temperature even higher. So we'll let that happen. And we'll then be using this to release the steam. And we're going to do it, one of the cheats, directly into the cup. You'll find that baristas and that will want to do it in here and check the temperature. For the beginner's guide, you just need to make sure you've got some nice frothy milk that you're happy with. So we'll now just wait for that temperature to build up. Okay, that's got there ready now, so we now can froth up our milk.
once you're happy you've got enough froth there that's fantastic don't forget to give this bit a quick wipe otherwise you will build up milk on it and we need to just clean the end with a little bit of steam now that we've frothed up our milk which you can see it is lovely we can now turn the steam button off and now we're ready to uh, actually put the coffee in. So you can put this into a separate glass if you want to, or which we're gonna do, or you can pull this bit out and put your whole glass underneath. But uh, I'm gonna use a separate glass. So make sure that is underneath where the liquid's gonna come out, and then you just hit your coffee button. It puts a little bit of um, liquid in and then pumps it through there. Now if you've got that right so far, this is how this should look. You should have that sort of pint of Guinness pour effect that you can see happening here. Uh, you should end up with a nice crema head on the top there, which you can see is forming, and the dark coffee is there in the bottom. If for some reason you've not got that, then you need to have another go. The most likely problem is you have not tapped down the coffee, pushed down the coffee um, compact enough when you've been doing, been doing this filter here. So have another go and you should end up with that. Right, now we're finished. We can turn off the unit, otherwise you'd be burning through power. Unlock this one. That's what you should have left. And then that can go straight in your food waste. And here you can see two coffees. The one on the left didn't have the coffee compact down enough. The one on the right did. And you have got that nice crema head. Now, because we're just doing a cheat here and we've got our frothed up milk we did earlier, the next stage is just to pour one into t'other. There you are. That is a very simple cappuccino. We're just gonna finish this off now with a dusting of chocolate on the top. Obviously I'm British, so for me there's only one chocolate and that's Cadbury's and that's what I have in my sprinkler. So you choose whichever chocolate you like. I'm going with the Cadbury's and just a little bit on the top there. Um, that's probably a bit too much actually, but to do that to taste. Now to me, that is a fantastic tasting decaf coffee and it just takes a few minutes and a lot of the theatre of the whole coffee thing has been taken out. So yes, if you're moving from a coffee machine to your first espresso, this is what you should have. If you have any problems or any issues at all, please leave me a message below and I will come back to you as soon as I can. This is Paul from London saying cheerio, you have a great day.